Our next speaker is Anya Yaroshevich. Her title, How the Psychology of Poverty Affects Behaviour and Financial Outcomes. If you were tasked with getting people out of poverty, how would you do it? Historically, welfare policies and charities have examined poverty in a pretty one-dimensional way, by looking at the amount of money people have and then giving them more of it. And this makes sense. After all, that's the definition of poverty, not having enough money. But is this the right way to think about poverty? A growing body of evidence suggests that no, it may not be. Because poverty isn't really just a lack of resources. It's a constellation of psychological states. It's feelings of helplessness, of fear, of uncertainty, of shame. And in this thesis, I argue that incorporating those psychological states into welfare policies can help individuals escape poverty more quickly and more definitively. Now, why would this be the case? Well, unfortunately, people in poverty have been found to exhibit behaviors that may exacerbate their poverty. For instance, they may be more impatient and they may be, more, they may be less willing to take risks. And while researchers have commonly assumed that this is the direct result of lacking money, in this thesis, I argue that it's actually the psychological states that drive those harmful behaviors, and in particular, helplessness, uncertainty, and shame. So what evidence do we have for this claim? Well, as is common in psychology, we start by taking a large group of people, and we randomly assign them to different treatment groups, in this case, orthogonally manipulating poverty and the psychological state. So for instance, in one study, in which we're testing the effect of feeling helpless over your financial state, we start by either giving people enough resources to complete a task or purchase something, that's the wealthy group, or not, that's the poor group. At the same time, we can also manipulate whether they have the ability to get more resources, that's the agency group, or not, that's the helpless group. We then test the behavior of the people in each of these four groups, identifying how impatient they are and how willing they are to take risks. And what we're identifying in this study, as well as the ones for the other psychological states, is that it's not actually the lack of resources that's driving these harmful behaviors. It's those psychological states. So what does this mean for policy? Well, incorporating the powerful psychology of poverty can help individuals pick themselves up by their own bootstraps, helping us tackle poverty from the ground up. Thank you.